Hello, Gemini. This is Barb with Mystic Door Tarot, and thank you so much for joining me. Now, I am working with the brand new, let me grab it, Tarot of the Owls tarot card deck, which just came out this year. So, kind of brand new. But let's just jump in and see what the cards are indicating for the week of March 6th through the 12th, 2023. Keep in mind, these are general readings. These are not one-on-one -on -one readings. Take what resonates and leave the rest. And if you haven't subscribed yet, take a moment and hit that subscribe button and help support my channel. So let's get started. First card. Ooh, the Ten of Pentacles. Very nice. Major Arcana card, Temperance. And the Knight of Wands. Okay. Your overall energy for the week? Wow. Major Arcana card, The World. Wow, 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 Gemini. Your Oracle message, Flowers. And your crystal for the week is Fluorite. And I do have my fluorite, not too far. Here is the fluorite crystal. Let's bring it into your reading. Okay, Gemini. You've got some really great, fresh, positive energy headed your way this week. As I'm picking up, um, I'm picking up a celebratory energy. And for some of you, you might be getting acknowledged possibly receiving some kind of achievement reward publicly. So, starting off with your first card, you have the Ten of Pentacles. And the Pentacles are everything to do with the material world. It's in regards to your job, your money, your finances. And at times, it can be related to your body, your physical body, your health. So, what I'm picking up with the energy of this card is that something is like wrapping up some kind of achievement, some kind of goal or purpose, a journey that you've been on, Gemini? That's wrapping up. As the Ten of Pentacles is a card of completion, it could be in regards to a project you were working on or some kind of journey. I just keep picking up maybe a spiritual journey for some Geminis. And now you're being what I feel is elevated to the next level. So if you're into spirituality, you know basically everyone operates on the 3G level. But I feel you're at the 4G level and you're now going into 5G. So the frequency that you'll be operating at is tremendously increased. And that's going to give you so much energy and inspiration, which I'm picking up is primarily helping others around you. So this Ten of Pentacles is reaching that goal, that point. And it was picking up and seeing you getting some kind of an award, some kind of recognition for your work in some manner, possibly where you're in front of a group and accepting it. Could be a certification, an achievement, an award. Certainly you're being acknowledged for the work um, that you've put in. Clarifying card. You have the Five of Pentacles. Now, what I'm immediately picking up is this is prior, and I mean right before this energy hits, right before maybe you find out the news that you're getting an award. You're feeling this Five of Pentacles energy, like you've been left out in the cold, that you're undervalued is what I'm picking up. But... <laughs> This is because of trying, uh, people around you are trying to keep things hidden from you, Gemini, to, for the surprise. Because you're escalating from feeling like this to the Ten of Pentacles. So definitely with this five energy, it is shaking things up, but in the best way possible for you, Gemini. Next, you have the Major Arcana card, Temperance. 
And of course, major arcana cards are some kind of life event, something that's celebrated or a mile marker to something. And I certainly picked that up for you, Gemini. That's something you have worked on or worked for or have even endured, persevered. Because for some Geminis, this could be like a milestone anniversary for those of you that are partnered. But for most, I am picking up some kind of achievement either within the community that you live or, <clears throat> excuse me, in your work environment. So the temperance card is specifically integrating something new into your life, balancing out the energies as if this is success in regards to your career, that could launch you in a whole nother direction, like starting all over again with possibly a new project, a new journey, a new adventure. So temperance is also that five energy. It's 14 reduced to five where it's shaking things up right before you might step out on a new journey. It's also a card of kind of reflecting for a moment before you do, before you start up something new and just kind of seeing how things are working out, if it's what you wanted, if you're still going in the right direction. Certainly um, a card of alchemy here. Just, it's a card of what you're creating and manifesting for yourself, Gemini. And is it still what you want? That's basically what the temperance card is. And for some Geminis, the temperance card could be a new relationship or taking your relationship to the next level, getting engaged, uh, possibly moving in together. It is certainly reaching a certain level, graduating to a certain level, and then seeing how that feels. Now the clarifying card for this, and you have the queen of swords. Absolutely seeing the truth. The cards are on the table, so to speak. And you're seeing exactly which way you want to go at this time. So tremendous mental clarity coming in. And in the background here, you do see the sun coming up. So everything is being made perfectly clear to you. And you know which way you want to go. Next, you have the night of wands. This is the movement and change coming in, the next project, the next level, the next thing that you're going to dive into, Gemini. And on this card, the, the Knight of Wands, this owl as the knight is on the hunt. So you're looking for what is the next thing coming in. This is new adventures, new ideas, new paths. For some of you, I'm really picking up like a personal makeover of yourself. You're changing up your appearance, the clothes you wear, your hairstyle. You're embracing like this next phase or cycle that you're entering into. So really exciting energy with the Knight of Wands as you get to decide what it is you want to be doing. And that certainly could go off in many different directions. It is a general reading. So it certainly could be in regards to your career. It could be regards to where you live, friendships, relationships, a project you're going to be working on. Could be something you're doing within the community. But this Knight of Wands is certainly now proceeding to the next thing, the next adventure. And your clarifying card for this, Major Arcana card, the Empress, perfect. The Empress is coming in as you are in this mode of being really excited for the next thing, Gemini. And the Empress is creating the right time, the right environment. So you've got like all this wonderful energy where you're successful, you're being compensated, recognized for something you've done. This could simply be in uh, like noticed by another company or a company that you wanted to work for that maybe you applied to and now you're hearing back that they're noticing your gifts and talents. So it's that kind of energy here this week, Gemini. Your gifts, your talents are being recognized. And you're going to feel really comfortable in going after what it is you want to do. This is setting you up here for ideas and inspiration and moving forward with your plans. 
very fertile, very exciting energy, very abundant energy. And with this three numerology, it is certainly indicating new beginnings. Okay, and it even gets better. Your overall energy for the week, you have the major arcana card, the world, and that kind of says it all. You're just feeling on top of the world. You're being celebrated this week. You're being acknowledged. Yeah, it certainly it could be your own doing. You could be getting engaged. You could be getting married. You could be celebrating a special event. But this is a nice overall energy taking you through the week ahead. The world card is the ending of a cycle. Results coming in, very happy with the results, but yet right after, it is a new beginning. And this 21 of the world card also reduces down to three, so definitely new beginnings, a new direction. And let's look at your clarifying card. And you have the Seven of Cups. Kind of an indication with the Seven of Cups is that you have so many options and choices and directions to go into. The world is your oyster, you might say. So Seven of Cups is just being able to be in that state of mind where you can go off in any different direction. Cups energy, uh, clarifying this world card is how you're feeling at the moment this week. And it could be experiencing a lot of different feelings and emotions this week. As we saw here with the Five of Pentacles, and then escalating up to the 10 of pentacles. Now your oracle card message. And you received flowers. And it says romance and sweetness. But this is an oracle message of the gifts and surprises that can come into your everyday life unexpectedly. And certainly in some kind of celebratory way. You might be getting a bouquet of flowers, like a congratulatory uh, type bouquet of flowers. But for some Geminis, it can certainly be moving off into a more romantic direction, kind of like the sky's the limit. Last thing here I want to talk about is your crystal, your suggestion for the week. And we have the fluorite crystal here. which does have to do with your third eye chakra. That's your intuition, your perception on things, being alert, aware, and understanding what your intuition is telling you. And having the fluoride crystal, it enhances your intuition and certainly to trust in your spirit guides. Trust your intuition because it's never going to let you down. And for some Geminis, this is certainly um, reaching a higher spiritual level. And with the suggestion of this crystal fluorite for the week, connecting with your spirit guides can help you to access this higher source of wisdom and guidance as messages from your spirit guides can come in as physical signs as well as through your intuition. So Gemini, wow, <laughs> looks like a very good week for you. I do feel in some way there's going to be something that's celebrated this week. For many of you, this is in regards to your job, your career, your achievements, but certainly could be something within the community, which would be more like on the home front for some of you. And certainly spiritually speaking, if you're on a spiritual journey, Gemini, it's about to go to the next level. All right, Gemini, that was your reading for the week ahead. Thank you so much for joining me today. Please be sure to subscribe and visit my website if you'd like a private reading. Love and abundance to my Gemini family.